a key feature in a smooth running turnout is precisely formed frog points. Uh, if they're they're nice and sharp and long and and go down into the throat of the frog as far as possible, you end up with track work that performs very nicely. Um, and we've made a tool to make that job uh, a lot easier. We call it our point form tool. And I'm going to uh, go through the process of using this tool now and show you uh, how to produce a really nice set of frog points like this. It's uh, it's nice and sharp and very precise. Our point form tool uh, actually will produce frog points as well as switch points. Um, this video I'm just going to focus on on uh, making a set of frog points uh, like these here. Um, this has been already soldered together, uh, but it's made up of two separate pieces of rail with a very precise angle filed on the end of the uh, on the end of the rail. Marked on the tool is the word frog on uh, one end, on the right side, if you're looking at it the right way up, uh, and on the other end is point. Um, to make frog points, uh, we want to insert the rail on the end marked frog, not this direction, but this direction. So this is telling us that uh, this end of the tool is where we put the rail to make our frog points. Uh, you can see there's two small grooves in the uh, in the tool, and that's to hold the rail. So uh, a length of rail is inserted into those grooves. Um, when making a frog, they're actually the rail's actually put in upside down like that, and it hangs in the groove like so. And you just slide it out all the way out till it comes out the side of the tool like that. Now you can see where that's sitting on an angle in the tool and that angle is a number six frog point. Getting the uh, the rail located in the tool is is, is quite critical. Um, you can see here where the, the entire rail is, is sticking out the end there and that's actually too far out. Uh, where you want the rail is about there. So where I put it, if you take a look at this inside face of this rail here, this is the head of the rail up here, I want that face to just touch the side of the tool. So it's going to come out like that, right there. And if you push down a little bit on it, you can see where it flexes a little bit. So I have a habit of actually holding it down like this with one finger and then sliding it in and out of the tool. And you can see now, if I, there's too much space in there, you can see there's a, a little gap down in here. And you don't want that. You want to pull it back here so it's just like that. And I'll hold it in place. That I'll tighten up the, uh, the, the bolts on the top of the tool. I just go finger tight first, and then I'll uh, tighten them up. I'll snug them up with the uh, with the Allen wrench that's uh, supplied with the tool. So when you when you tighten this up, you don't want to squeeze it too tight. You just want to snug it a little bit, just like that, just so the rail's not going to be moving in the tool. If you go too tight, you can actually crush the rails. You don't want to do that. So with the rail in the tool, I'm going to use a nice sharp um, file and file off the rail that's. Uh, that's exposed along the edge of the tool. Uh, and that's fairly easily done. Um, it's important that you file along the full length of the tool and you want to file towards the end of the rail. If you file this way, the file has a tendency to want to catch the edge of the rail and it'll want to curl it up. So it's best to do the filing uh, this way. So going along the full length of the face of the tool. It doesn't take too long, just a few swipes. I'm filing code 83 rail here. Um, if you're using uh, heavier rail like code 100, 125, it does take quite a bit longer. Uh, but with code 83, it goes fairly quick. You notice I flipped the file over there too as I was filing. As one side starts to get clogged up a little bit, it's best to flip it over until I can clean it out. Um, that way it's it still remains sharp. And I've filed that off now. You can see where there's nothing Nothing sticking up anymore. It's nice and smooth along with the edge of the tool. I can run my finger along it. As you're filing, uh, you'll be able to tell when you're done filing through the rail because it'll actually change the way that it feels. It'll start to pull a little bit more as you're going along the tool. You can see I'm filing along the full length of the tool. I'm not just going up in this area like that. I'm going all the way along the tool. And, and that's important because that'll um, keep the tool, that'll allow the tool to wear evenly. You don't want to file in one spot and you actually wear it in uh, a groove in there. Just like that. Plus, also another tip when filing is, is file in one direction only. So I'm not going back and forth like a hacksaw, actually skimming across the top like that. So I'm going to remove this uh, first piece of rail out of the tool. Just loosen it off and slide it out. You can see we got 
one half of a very nice frog point. So when I have a, once I take it out of the tool, I like to just run my fingers, uh, my fingernail along the, the bottom and the top of the tool because there'll be a small little burr on there left over from filing. Uh, it comes off pretty easily, just, just run your fingernail across it like that. But you can see how precisely this has been filed now. It's a really uh, deliberate angle on there. This is one half of a number six frog point. So I'm going to repeat the process again um, and file the other half, uh, this time putting the rail on the other side of the tool. So there we have a really nice frog point. This is the uh, the second half of the uh, of the pair that I'm working on. So you can see how, how you got a nice flat surface on there, uh, and this comes to a, a nice sharp point. That's uh, that's a really good good uh, frog point. So if I check it with uh, the one that I made for the first half, we can kind of line them up there and see that that will form now a very nice frog point. Here's one here that I've already soldered together using the fixture. You can see that, uh, that it works quite well. 